AP scores are on the verge of being released as College Board Senior Vice President Trevor Packer has begun tweeting some of the score distributions. Today, we're going to talk about the score distributions for AP exams and whether we should be excited or nervous for this year's results. I'll also give my personal prediction on whether five and four rates will increase or decrease. Of course, before we begin, I gotta remind you to subscribe and hit that bell so you get all my future educational content on AP, SAT, ACT, etc. So hit that red button. Let's dive in. Now let's get more into the numbers that have been released so far regarding actual score distributions. For our analysis, we're going to use some historical AP exam data that's been organized on a sheet by some people on Reddit. Thank you, Redditors. Uh, the sheet contains um, historical but pretty recent data regarding the AP exam score distributions for each of the classes that are offered. Each class has its own row, as you can see, listing the percentage of students that got all five possible scores. The difference between the two years being studied is also shown, and at the end in the last column, a yes means that pass rates went up as compared with the previous year, and a no means that pass rates had went down. So I think this is a really pretty nice tool, um, so I'm going to link it in the description below for anyone who wants to keep track of it as more score distributions come out, and you as well can keep track of the results. Now, the AP language tests have unfortunately taken a tremendous hit this year. Every single language test pass rates have decreased and by sometimes significant margins. For example, AP Spanish language and culture decreased by a whopping 9.0%, AP French language and culture decreased by 5.7%, AP Latin decreased by 6.1%. Most of those language exams released so far have been at their lowest pass in at least three years. So I'm not just comparing uh, 2020 and 2021, we're looking at 2019, 2021. Like, so scores are going down from even the pre-COVID years. So therefore, for these reasons, I'm predicting that the five and four score distributions overall for 2021 will definitely decrease from 2020 to 21 and most likely also from 2019 to 2021 and maybe even 2018 to 2021. This is simply from an analyzation of the facts and I'm going based on logic. So obviously the news may be disappointing, but we can't blame anyone for it. The past year has been really unprecedented and students have had to learn remotely, which might explain why these distributions are um, negative and why they're decreasing but college would simply do their job at administrating these exams. And they've actually worked pretty hard in offering both paper, pencil, and online exams, sometimes in five, six testing periods throughout the summer. So we should actually thank them for the flexibility because if not for the college board's witty thinking, many of us may not have even taken AP exams this year. I mean, they're still offering AP exams now at this minute. They have them going until August. They're doing their best to get everybody tested. And it's honestly admirable. Now, teachers, too, did their best of trying to convert an entire year's worth of content to a virtual curriculum, so we must appreciate their efforts, too, and thank a teacher the next time you see one, yeah? Finally, let's delve into the student perspective of this, you and I. Analogy-wise, the results we're seeing this year sort of resemble a game of Monopoly, when everyone takes a hit and has to pay, for example, the same income tax in the game. COVID-19 affects everyone, and you're not the only one who is facing these sometimes negative consequences. We're all in this together, and it's important to just move past it and do the best we can for the future. We understand, and colleges obviously understand the situation as well. So don't be afraid or nervous. It's going to be fine. That's it for this video. I wanted to analyze the AP score distributions that have been released so far to the best of my ability. The results we're seeing are not that surprising and it'd actually be shocking if AP scores managed to go up in 2021 compared to previous years. Anyways, until next time, see you later.